Bonjour, Ignatius. Bonjour, Hanan. Bonjour, Jerry. Ça va? Ça va très bien, et vous? Um, très bien. Very good. Yeah. Great. How are you, Ignatius? What have you been up to? I've been very well. Um, just, you know, taking in the point noir life little by little. So we're getting there. Uh, I see. Really, really good. Uh, do you plan to to create some something in the sci-tech world? Uh, like well, let's see. Wireless, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very creative and, you know, very instinctive. So I may create something for ah, the both you. of you, the king and the queen of the morning call. I like this nickname. Keep, okay. keep saying that. Keep saying that. I will. I will. <laughs> Hello, Africa. Welcome to SciTech right here on African News. And I am Ignatius Anon. Gabriel Opari, a 19-year-old Ghanaian student, has built a new search engine to rival Google and YouTube. Gabriel built a free search engine for videos called Moodclo. Now, Moodclo is an impressive meta search engine that allows users to discover, search and stream video content from multiple sources on the internet all in one place. Gabriel believes his search engine is good enough to compete in the search engine business and that can scale globally. Opari is only a level 300 sociology student of the University of Ghana and taught himself how to code by taking online courses during his free time. Now, Muklo has already caught the attention of some tech companies, including more established video hosting sites. Although there's still some work to be done on Moodclo to fix bugs, boost the features and visual experience it offer users. And now Facebook is to open a hub in Nigeria. It has launched a community hub and training program in Nigeria, its biggest market. In Africa, the hub will offer support to tech startups and also train 50,000 young people on small and medium scale enterprises in digital scales across the country. Now, the hub will be opened in 2018 and will be Facebook's first tech space in Africa. Emeka Afigbo, head of platform partnerships in charge of Middle East and Africa said Nigeria was an important market for Facebook and added that its creativity and large population will enable the investment to spread and have impact across the continent. Facebook says Nigeria alone has 22 million users and 10 million of them log in daily to the platform, all on mobile devices. Facebook has been investing heavily in Africa, recently appointing a regional director based in South Africa. In August, founder Mark Zuckerberg visited Kenya and Nigeria for the first time where he met with developers and entrepreneurs and spent time learning about the startup ecosystems in Africa's most popular nation. And now imagine being a customer and you want to express an interest, pledge to a course, enter a contest, vote or give a feedback and you do not have to pay a dime for it. Yes. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it is. African enterprises now have the opportunity to call you back to do any of the items mentioned earlier via the Connect portal, which was recently launched by Kirusa. It's a global leader in communication solutions. And here's a doctor in the past, Singh Munich, who is chief executive officer of Kirusa, who tells us more about the flash call campaign. If uh, an enterprise can available um, two numbers to their customers saying, if you're happy with our service, give a missed call, or as they say in Congo or Ghana, flash, flash this number. If you're not happy with the service, flash a different number. And the enterprise can see in real time what the response is coming in. Are people happy with the service or people not happy with the service? There are many enterprises who have been using the service very successfully in fact, uh, uh, there are a number of campaigns that are running in Ghana in particular. So we've been running the service in Ghana for a few months. We have seen the traction. A few of them have also been done in Nigeria. There is, there's a lot of, there's even more interest in Nigeria. So for example, in Ghana, uh, one of the uh, enterprises using that is Zim Bank. Uh, they, are in they are incorporating flash calling to several and into all of their flyers. And that's it for SciTech this week. I'll see you hopefully next Tuesday. Until then, the morning call continues with Queen Hanan and King Jerry. I am Ignatius Anno. It's goodbye for now. Back to you guys. Ignatius, you uh -huh. when you create your invention, we would uh, 
launch. We'll do a very big launch. A big us. launch, and hopefully I'll make you the faces. I mean, the king and the queen. I'll make you the faces of that in the No, you have our support that? already. Yeah. Yeah. You have our support course, already. That's what I'm trying course. to say. We support your, your crowd. Oh, fantastic. You guys are lit. Enjoy the day. <laughs>